Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm gonna be doing something that I should have started and finished a long time ago. So I actually did, down here, the wood floors in our basement. Uh, I think I did a live stream about maybe two, three months ago, whatever it was. And the one thing that I never finished was, let me show you, the quarter round going all the way around. And I'll tell you why I never finished it, because it's technically a pain in the butt. Unfinished quarter round comes here. Hey, buddy, what you doing? Uh, quarter round over here, unfinished. The island behind that over there. The way that I thought that it had to be done was with a miter saw and a pneumatic air gun, a brad nailer. And it dawned on me the other day, I was watching a video, I can't tell you exactly where it was from, but I found a tool that is supposedly gonna make this job super easy. I won't have to use a miter saw. So we're gonna get to that later on. And the other thing that I purchased for this video is I ordered off of Amazon a battery operated nail gun. So if this works, this is how you have to do your quarter round. If it becomes a pain in the butt, so here's the one tool I have right here. We're gonna get to this later. So, but what I'm gonna do right now is I need to get my paint, which I have right here. This is the paint that I'm using for the quarter round. This is all of our trim color. This is that color down there, the doors. It's a semi-gloss paint. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pre-paint all of the quarter round. So we're gonna do four pieces. We're gonna get it pre-painted. We're gonna have to mix this paint up, so I have an idea. I think it was in here. In here. Yep, here it is. I have an idea to mix this paint up really good. We're gonna try something. Let's go ahead and get our quarter round pre-painted today because the tool that I ordered off of Amazon should be here this afternoon, anywhere between four o'clock and uh, seven o'clock. And right now it's only one o'clock in the afternoon. And then what we're gonna do tomorrow is I'm gonna show you these awesome tools. All right, enough babbling. Let's go ahead and get this paint mixed up. Alright guys, now that we got our quarter round all painted up, it really only takes one coat. This stuff is pre-primed, it's super easy. If you get a good paint, it should just go on super smooth. It's much easier to paint this stuff while it's off the trim before it's installed because then you don't have to worry about taping it off, getting anything on your floors or anything along that lines. Literally those five pieces probably took me five minutes. So just do one coat and you'll be done. It should take you about a half an hour to paint all your quarter round before you get it put on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for these tools to show up. We're gonna let this dry overnight and tomorrow I will show you these tools and we'll get this trim installed. All right, here we go. All right, y'all, so the first thing that we're gonna check out is this little tool right here. You might have seen these in the past. I've seen these, but I never have known what they are used for. So evidently, this is a cutting tool that you can adjust the angle that you're cutting so you can actually cut quarter round with. 
So what you do is you put your quarter round in here and you make the cut. This blade is ridiculously sharp. The one that I got here came with one, two, three, four, five, plus the one that it has on here, six blades. Has a little tool right here that you can remove this. This is a little nut. You take this nut off, you slide the old blade out and you put a new blade in. So the other thing is this right here gives you the angle that you're gonna cut. So if you're gonna cut a 45 degree, whoosh, go like that and you make your cut. This is gonna take place of the miter saw. No more need for bringing in a, lugging in a huge miter saw just to cut a few quarter rounds. How awesome is that? All right guys, this is what I purchased for $119. And a box of one and a quarter inch brad nails, 1,000 brad nails. So these were $6.99. Again, I'll put a link in the description below for all of this stuff. And then right here, battery operated brad nailer. Let's check it out, see what's up on the inside. All right, well, unfortunately, there's no fancy case. I was kind of hoping for a nice case, but there is no case with this one. So you do get your brad nailer. Let's see, we got a battery. Here's some instructions. Okay, so it does actually have some nails, but I wanted to order the one and a quarter because this does take up to one and a quarter inch brad nails, but it also came with these really little short brad nails. I think I have some one and a quarters in the downstairs in my workshop, but I wanted to make sure that I had what I needed, so that's why I ordered another set. Let's see what this is in this box here. This is to hang your tool on your belt. All right, so let's check out the tool itself. It is heavy. Oop. It is heavy. All right, let's see. Uh, this thing is not on it. It is broken, maybe? I don't know. Uh, okay, I'm not sure if this thing has been used or not. Uh, all right, so I'm a little skeptical about this tool. I'm really skeptical about this tool because check it out. Look what I got in the mail. This thing is beat up. I think I got a used tool. Check it out. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Huh. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have received a used, banged up tool because this thing is, yeah, amazing. Look at that. All right. Let's see. Let me put a battery in. Let me see this battery. Let's see if this battery is even. Battery looks new, I think. This tool is definitely used. And that's pretty disappointing. All right, let's see. It's heavy. Hmm. Ooh. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually return this for sure, because there's supposed to be what I think screws in here, and I'm gonna put that, yeah, let's see. That's crazy. I cannot believe they sent me a used tool. Unfortunately, what I'm gonna do is return this right here, and uh, <laughs> it's, it's crap. So they sent me a used tool. How awesome is that? All right, guys, when we come back, we're gonna have a new uh, brad nailer, battery-operated brad nailer, but uh, man, that sucks. What a piece of crap. All right. All right, guys. All right, let's uh, move on to the next one. Here we go. Hey, guys, what's going on? So, okay, so it is two days later. This is Monday. I started doing that video on Saturday. I went ahead and ordered a replacement for that brad nailer. I got it right here, brand new in a box. I have not opened it, so let's go ahead and open it up together and see what they sent me for the second time. Hopefully this one in here is a little bit better than the first one. So we're gonna get right into it, let's do it. Let's go ahead and open this thing up, check it out, see what's up on the inside, see if this one again is better than the last. 
right off the bat, look at this. This one has some styrofoam in it where the other one did not. Uh, yep. All right, much, much better. Here is the, check it out. This one has a tag on it. The last one didn't even have this tag on the charging block. Uh, here is the battery. I'm not even gonna open this up. You know what these parts are. These are the hanger and the bread nails that it comes with. Much, much better. Look how shiny and new this one is. <laughs> this one has the little Allen key. This one is together like it should. This one isn't falling apart. Nice and clean. This is definitely a much better nail gun. And I think what happened was somebody probably returned the other one and did like a bait and switch and already might have owned this and then it broke. So they probably ordered, what I'm thinking is what happened, they ordered a new one, got the new one in and returned the other one for a refund. That's kind of what I'm thinking what happened. And then what that did was they got a refund and they got a brand new gun. So they used it, bought a new one. Amazon probably didn't even realize, they probably didn't even check because the person returned it. Somebody just put it back and I was the one to receive the crappy one. But this one is actually super, super nice. It has the guard on it, like right here. Look at this. This one has a guard. The other one didn't even have this plastic piece on it. M much, much better much happier with getting this one than the last. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and throw the battery in here. What I'm gonna do is I actually charge the other battery. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other battery from the old one because it actually looked like a brand new battery. And we're gonna go ahead and put it in this gun. Yep, this battery is, and that's cool, cool too. It actually has a little tester so it shows you where it's at. This battery is the brand new battery. This one is the last one and they look both brand new. So I don't know why. Okay, so look at that. That one has 3% three charge. That one has four charge. So we're gonna take this one because I know it's fully charged. And I think what I'm gonna do is keep this one. I'm gonna, doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and put it in there. Let's go ahead and get some nails and put it in here and see what happens. All right guys, so we got a piece of wood here. Let's load up some short little stubbies. These are, I think, three quarter inch brad nails. We're gonna set them in there. Locked and loaded. Let's check it out. Woohoo! Perfect. It's pretty awesome. How nice is that? All right. All right, guys. Now that I got this uh, new, new master now the new new master and the gun is exactly what i've ordered not a used pos we're going to go ahead over to the quarter round and let's go ahead and install this quarter round get it cut up with them little shears and uh, get that installed so should be pretty awesome
All right, guys, that is it. That is the video that is using this little uh, cutting tool, which is pretty awesome. I will say this, the nail gun works really well. It's very powerful and it does the job. So can't wait to get the rest of this quarter round done. The other thing is this tool right here. So this tool does take a lot of pressure to use. You have to really clamp down on it. Now, I think they make some quarter round that's kind of made out of like a foam, really lightweight material. I'm sure this would go through it like butter, but I'm using actually wood quarter round and it still cuts it pretty good. You do have to use a lot of force. There are some spots where the wood is a little bit softer, so it doesn't use as much force, but some of the pieces I had to really push down on the ground. Still does the job, still does everything I needed to do. I do need to go around, do a little bit of caulking on the top side of the quarter round and do a little bit of touch of paint where the nails were. There was a couple nails that didn't drive in all the way, so what I'm gonna do is just come behind that with a little, uh, little tap and um, a hammer and just finish those off really easy. Uh, I guess that happens, but uh, long story short, this worked out so much easier, so much faster than going outside back and forth, using a chop saw, creating more sawdust and everything. Just had to sweep up the floor a little bit. Can't wait to finish up this floor because it's been such a long time. If you guys like this video, go down below, hit that thumbs up button. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Coming up on 15,000 subscribers, go in the description. There is a new Discord that I created if you made it this far. If you are on Discord, go down and join my Discord and you can ask me questions pretty much instantly. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So, all right guys, until that next video, make sure I do one thing, stay awesome. We'll see you on the next one, bye. Boom, 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 boom. No cords, no air hoses. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think that was way much better. We just got to go around here and do a little bit of caulking and a little bit of touch-up paint and just we can finish that all up and get that done. I guess you heard our conversation. See you later. Bye.